Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss Melissa, and I am here to do an art project with you. So guess what I have in store for you today? This. A black bear mask. Let me show you the supplies that you will need to make this so we can get started. You are going to need one black sheet of construction paper, a pencil, an eraser, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and you're also going to need your box of crayons. We're going to be learning about black bears today because they are the Louisiana state mammal. All states in the entire United States have different types of historical symbols and one of the symbols in Louisiana just happens to be um, a black bear. I happen to live in Louisiana and if you are watching this video I bet you may actually live here too. And did you know that Black bears actually have a ton of fur. They have so much fur covering their entire body. And guess what that means? It means they have a very soft and fluffy texture. Kind of like maybe if you have any stuffed animals. Well, you may be thinking, what is texture? Well, it is how something feels. Let me show you an example. Here I have this is actually my water bottle. It's made of plastic. And here I actually have my, it's one of my scarfs. And this is made of yarn. Which one do you think has a hard, smooth texture? And which one do you think has a very soft, fluffy texture? If you were thinking the soft and fluffy texture is the scarf, you are correct. It's very soft and it's very fluffy. And this is actually very hard and smooth. So let's go ahead and take a look at some masks that I have to show you. And all of them have all sorts of different kinds of textures that we could explore. Masks, just like this one, are made all over the world. There are several different reasons for why masks are made. Masks are also made of different materials such as wood, metal, clay. Today, we're going to focus on the materials and the texture of mask. How do you think the mask feels. For example, here we have a Roman bronze mask. This mask is made in Italy. It is made of bronze, which is a metal, so the surface is very hard. This is a mosaic mask. It is made in Mexico. It's made of tiny little tile pieces all over to create a mosaic. Do you think that this mask is bumpy or smooth? Good guess, it's bumpy, right? Because if you run your fingers right over all of these tiles, you would feel all of the little bumps. This is a Korean monkey mask made in Korea. It's made of paper mache on the face of the mask and it's also made of fur on top of its head. It's painted with red and black and white patterns. Which texture do you think is soft and fluffy? The paper mache or the fur? Very good. It's fur. This is a buffalo mask made in Africa. It is actually made of wood. Which part of the mask do you think is bumpy and which part do you think it's smooth? Do you think 
The antlers are bumpy or smooth? Very good. You can see right here, they're probably very bumpy, right? What about his face? What do you think about his face? It's probably very smooth, right? Because I don't really see too many textures on his face, but I see them here on his antlers. This is the last mask I'm going to show you today. It's a crocodile mask. Now this one is different because it's very long. So its body's going to stick out once you try it on. And what you would do is you would actually put the mouth right over your head and your face would be inside looking out. Do you see the grass-like texture on this crocodile? I bet it is pretty soft, don't you think? Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at all of the really cool textures on all of these mask prints that I showed you today. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the black bear's fur. Now you can see the black bear really good up close. Did you know that black bears live along the swamps? Also along the Mississippi River in the forest area? They spend a lot of time on the ground and in the trees. As you can see, he's got a lot, a lot of black fur, which makes his texture very soft. And right on his nose, mouth area, his eyes, and a little bit on his ears, you could see some brown fur. Did you know that male bears weigh up to 400 pounds? And a female bear could even weigh up to 200 pounds. Speaking of weight, they sure do like to eat a lot of grass and roots and insects, berries, even fish and other mammals. There are about 1,000 bears living in Louisiana now. So let me show you all the lines and shapes that you're going to need today so we can draw the black bear mask together. We're going to be using curvy lines for most of the lesson. Here I have an example of a circle. We are going to make the shape of the bear's face into a circle. We're also going to make his eyes and nose a circle as well. Here I have an example of an oval. The bear's ears are going to be ovals and his mouth is also going to be an oval. And lastly, I have an example of a straight line. We are going to make lots and lots of fur today by scribbling and drawing straight lines. Now we can start making our black bear mask. So you should have your black sheet of construction paper. I want you to put it sideways, just like this, going the long way, okay? First thing we're gonna do is fold it in half to where it makes a book. The corners and the sides are going to touch. Once they touch, fold it in half to make a crease. Now, if you fold your paper, and you end up with a hot dog shape, you went the wrong way. Fold it this way to where it looks like a book. Okay. So now, this is probably the most important thing we're going to do. So pay attention. Do you see this fold right here or the crease? Okay. We need to put our pencil on this but it has to be on this side. So make sure you put your paper just like mine where your crease is on the left side and the open part is on the right. As soon as you do that, you're gonna take your pencil and we're just gonna mark our paper and leave a little bit of room at the top and a little bit of room at the bottom. 
My pencil is going to be a little bit shiny. You should be able to see it, hopefully. So we just marked our paper a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top. Now watch. I want you to turn it over. The fold is going to be on the bottom. The open part is going to be on top. Okay? Now I want you to point to where the middle of the paper is. About right here. I want you to put make a dot or a circle in the middle of your paper. Okay, so now do you see where your dot is in the middle? If you put your finger on the dot and you look at the top, I want you to make maybe like an X. X marks the spot of where you think halfway from the top to your dot would be. Make an X to where you think halfway would be. This is going to be the outer edge of our bear mask. So watch. Now I can erase the middle dot. I don't need it anymore. Okay. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? You have? Okay, good. We are going to draw a rainbow. Watch. We're going to put our pencil on one dot. We're going to go all the way up and end on our other dot. So start from the bottom where you made your dot, go all the way up to where we made X marks the spot, and come back down to the dot. This is how we're going to make our bear mask. Now get your scissors, and what you can do is cut it. We're going to cut it out. Keep your paper folded. So make sure your thumb goes into the small hole and your fingers go into the big hole. We're going to open really wide, put the paper way in the back and cut. Open wide, the paper is way in the back and I'm gonna slide it back down. And I'm gonna cut on the inside of my pencil line after you do that. Now make sure after you cut it out you want to keep the scraps. We're going to use the scraps for something. Let's open it up. Here I have a circle. It kind of looks maybe a little oval so if you have a real long um, circle what you can do is just kind of trim it down a little bit. You can just trim it. I, I want mine a little more circular. I like that. So go ahead and finish that and I want to show you what we're going to do with our scraps. So now we have the face of the bear, right? Do you see these scraps? Actually, I can kind of tear it. We're going to draw some ears. So if you could make, you know, some ovals maybe. Let's make some ovals together as big as you can in those corners and we're going to cut these out together. So you need to draw two ovals and you can cut them out. Okay, there's one. It doesn't have to be perfect. And there is two. So now that we have the ears cut out, we can put our scrap paper aside. Let's go ahead and glue them. So I'm just going to rub a little bit of glue like that. And I'm going to put it on the side you know, kind of sticking out like at the top of his head, but maybe at an angle. We want the ears glued on the back. Okay, so you want your ears on top of the head, but maybe at an angle. See, and then when you flip it over, this is what you get. Do you see that? The ears are on the back. Now, if you didn't have a glue stick and you had bottled glue, you can just put a dot and that will do. 
and we are finished with the glue. So make sure you put your cap back on. All right, now we are going to draw his big mouth. Well, actually it's like his mouth and nose, I say his mouth, his mouth and nose area. So watch, what I want you to do, again, find the middle, put a dot in the middle of your bare face. Now watch me, we're gonna draw a curvy line going down and another curvy line going down. Dot to curve, dot to curve. Now watch, I want you to make, you know, a circle. It could be a, maybe even kind of like an oval, a bumpy circle or bumpy oval to make his nose. And I say that because the bear does not have a perfect nose. It could be, you know, a circle or an oval, pretty big. Make it pretty big. Okay, now we're gonna draw some two circles for his nostrils. Two circles on the inside of his nose. And watch, you're gonna make two straight lines going up to show the bones of his nose. You're doing a great job. All right, now his eyes are pretty close to his nose, so I'm just gonna draw two dots just like that. Do you see that? That could be the black part of his eye. I'm gonna make a little circle going around it and then another circle. I'm gonna draw with a circle going around and then another circle. Now we have two eyes. You can make a curvy line at the top to show the inside of his ears, just like that. As soon as you're done with that, we can start coloring. So we can show his texture, the fun part, my favorite part. Let's go ahead and Take your black. We can still color black on black paper. What I want you to do is color his, and I hope it shows on this um, video recording. I could see it on my paper. You might see it a little bit. Go ahead and color his nose really dark. The nostril and the nose area, okay? Now you see the bridge of his nose? We're gonna color that, you know, like medium maybe, because we're gonna mix some colors in a minute. So maybe color the, the bridge of his nose where we drew the straight lines right here. Color this medium. All right, now, in his eye has the black pupils. That's the dot. So you can color the dot and the outside of his eye black on both sides color the dot and outside of his eyes black. Now I'm gonna color the top part of his ear. I'm gonna color the top part of his ear on both sides. If you're gonna do one thing on one side, make sure you do the same thing on the other side. So let's see, what is black so far? We have the what? Top part of his ear, the dot and the circle around his eye, and they're on both sides. We have his nose colored really dark and the bridge of his nose, you know, like a medium dark. All right, so now we can use our brown. We can color the inside of his ears brown on both sides and I'm kind of scribbling because you know remember the bear has lots of fur so you can kind of scribble it a little bit and now his actual eyeball is brown or should I say the iris of his eye bears typically have light brown eyes make sure you color both eyes right 
Now, what I want you to do is color his mouth area. We're going to color that brown. So just take your time. We'll do it together. This whole area, I might turn my paper a bit. So I'm going to color this part brown all the way around the bridge of his nose and his actual nose. Now, the bridge of his nose is also brown, so I'm going to color brown on top of it. You see how you can mix? So I'm coloring brown on top of just the bridge. So now we have a little bit of black and a little bit of brown, all mixed up. See that? Okay, so go ahead and finish coloring the black and brown areas to make it look like a black bear. And then Next, we get to create the fur. That's one of my favorite parts. Now watch, what I want you to do is take your black crayon and we are going to scribble up and down but in the shape of a rainbow about three or four times. Watch, let me go first, watch me. I'm gonna scribble straight lines up and down and I'm going to kind of leave a little bit of space so I don't touch his nose. Look at my crayon going up and down, up and down and I'm going in the shape of a rainbow, kind of like how we drew the rainbow. So go ahead and do that now. Up and down. Just make some scribbles. We're not coloring, we're just scribbling. Okay, now I'm going to make another row of scribbles. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, watch, with your black crayon. Up and down, up and down. Up and down, look, up and down, up and down. See that? And I'm leaving a little bit of space in between. I'm making basically rows of scribbles. My rows are in the shape of rainbows and I'm kind of scribbling. Now I'm going to do one really big one at the top and we can do this together. Look, see? Big scribbles up and down, up and down. We are creating his what? His fur. Very good. And we want to make it look like it has a soft texture. Do you see my scribbles? So first I started off with, you know, some small ones going up and down, and then I got a little bit bigger, and now these are the really big ones, huh? And I have three rows of scribbles. You may have more than that. Let's count the rows I have. One, two, three. You could have four, even five. I think I'm gonna add, I kinda wanna add a little bit of more, a little bit fur on over here. And I like leaving the space between my new row of furry scribbles because you could see it. You could see the contrast from the black paper to the black crayon. All right, time for the last part, my favorite part. Are you ready? With your pencil, we are going to make lots and lots of straight lines. Watch. We're going to go right on top of our scribbles and we're going to go fast. You're going to go from the bottom to up. Bottom or bottom, like the bottom part of our fur going out in the shape of a rainbow still. 
okay? So we're going basically right on top of what we did from down to up, down to up, down to up, just like that. And you can go quick, see? Down, up, down, up, down, up. And you just, wherever your hand falls, you know? Just make some straight lines. And some of your lines might look a little curvy, and that's fine. So the bottom of that rainbow fur area, you put your pencil, and then you just glide up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And ta-da, there is my bear with all of his fur, and it definitely shows texture. You could even put some little lines on his ears if you wanted to. So now you know how to create a really cool texture. Let me see if I can get up close to show you, because the lighting, you know, it's a little tricky. Can you see that? I'm moving it around so you can see. Pretty cool, huh? The last thing you can do to make your mask 3D looking is, do you see this line right here? You're gonna cut a slit at the top where his ears are. And if you didn't have time to do this, if you're in school, you could always try this at home. I'm gonna rub a little bit of glue on either side and fold it just like that. You could even do the bottom if you want to. See? You just make one little slit right on top of that crease. Rub a little bit of glue on either side you want and hold it down. And there you have your really cool textured black bear mask. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today. We learned about so many things. We learned that the Louisiana state Mammal is the black bear. You got it. We even learned that black bears have a lot of soft textures. Do you remember how we created texture on our black bear mask? I can show you maybe to help you out. Very good. We scribbled a lot of the black crayon up and down, and we even used our pencil to create lines to show a furry texture. We even learned about all kinds of masks that were created all over the world that had different textures. So as you go through the rest of your week, I hope you get the chance to draw a picture and create texture just like we did today. Maybe you can draw your favorite animal that has fur. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you again soon next time.